Welcome to a narc-free new year where I am going to read you excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse. Recover from empathy deficient relationships and emotionally unavailable people. If you want the link to buy this book, I will have information at the very end of the video. So watch to the end or just look in the links down below. Let's get on with today's excerpt from the book. Chapter one, page 21. Why Narcissist Gaslight? So why does this happen? Why do people behave like this? Because to others, it just seems like train wreck after train wreck in their life. It's so ineffective in solving problems. So why are people doing this? Frankly, they have no desire to solve the real problem. Crazy as that sounds. How they cope with reality is highly effective in allowing them to avoid solving the problem, which they have no real interest in solving. The deeper reason is that many narcissists were raised by narcissistic parents. It's learned behavior. Many of them were brought up with childhood emotional neglect, CEN, which we'll cover in the next chapter. But basically gaslighting is a highly effective way for narcissists to avoid problems they have no real interest in solving. Chapter one, page 21. Is there a cure for narcissism? Can we cure this? Unfortunately, I've scoured the internet looking for cures and I've tried in vain myself to find them with my own life's experience. What I've learned is that the experts who say there's no cure for this are correct, sadly. There are only two possibilities for hope and these are slim. Number one, hope number one. <laughs> Ask the narc to demonstrate empathy for others. If you can get the narcissist to see another person's point of view and how their actions are making other people feel or how they'd feel if they were going through what they've made other people go through, then maybe there's a chance. Recently, I encountered a narcissist who was gaslighting like I have never seen in my life. This person was shooting off gaslighting techniques like a machine gun. I could hardly get a word in edgewise. By the way, they will get very loud and tower over you if they can. If they're physically bigger or their voice is louder, they will interrupt you constantly to dominate and monopolize the conversation. In this recent encounter with a narcissist, I noticed that when I empathized with him and let him know that I understood his perspective, it dramatically de-escalated him. And then I said, now, can you understand the other person's perspective and that's what I was told. I don't care what other people think. And I don't care about their feelings. That was my big red flag to bail out of that conversation. Because this person was unwilling to demonstrate any empathy whatsoever. And not even on a fake level, which some of them will do. But he didn't even attempt to do that. He refused. So if you're unable to get genuine empathy out of that person, then you really need to take heed and cut your losses. Hope number two, manipulate narcs back. If you have no choice but to engage with this individual and you cannot get them to genuinely empathize, worst case scenario, let's say you're in a co-parenting situation and you have to interact with this other person because you have children together, unfortunately i hate to say this but if push comes to shove your only choice might be to manipulate them back to do this you'll have to tune into what they value and desire you have to cater to their what's in it for me mentality you have to play into them the same way that a narcissist plays into your values and needs as their victim how do they charm the pants off of you they tell you what you want to hear so you do what they want you to do, right? Y'all know how this works. It's hard for me to say this, but you're gonna have to turn it back on them. I hate to say it because it's against my moral compass, but as far as I know, these are the facts. It is what it is and it takes what it takes for as long as it takes. Now in chapter two, we're gonna discuss why you are attracting these people in the first place. And I'm gonna give you a hint. There's actually something that you have in common with narcissists. It's just that the way you respond to it is different. You might think to yourself, wow, I am actually nothing like this person. Well, actually there is a common denominator and we are going to discuss it in chapter two. This is part of the healing process of not only knowing your enemy and recognizing your enemy, but understanding why you're attracting this into your life in the first place. 
If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.